What is going on guys? Welcome back to my Borussia Dortmund Football Manager 2017 Let's Play. If you are enjoying this series, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. Here we have the board setting the initial budgets for the following season, just to show you that if you suddenly wonder why our transfer budget is almost 47 million and the wage budget as well. I like when they added that a few years ago, um, opposed to getting that transfer budget at the start of a new year, uh, get it uh, towards the end of a season uh, so you can plan for signings. A uh, very, very good thing uh, that they added. I like that a lot. And next up, uh, Bender, he asked to discuss personal matters. Uh, yeah, basically wanting to play a bit more. It's hard because we do have a lot of players. He could play center back and like a defensive midfield role for the team, even center mid, but yeah, probably in a defensive duty. He's got very good attributes. So I don't really want to let him go. So I'll say, yeah, I'll just start him in the next few weeks because it's not like he's a bad player at the same time. Um, he's very good defensively, as you can see. Attacking wise, not really. He's not a creative type. He's, he's good defensively, as you can see. But he's not amazing in the air with only 12 jumping reach and 12 heading. But then into the recent results. It was going very, very well until the Schalke one, where we just lost 1-0 away from home. But again, it wasn't a terrible game from us. Again, like normal, uh, we'll have the possession, we'll have some opportunities, chances to score, but unfortunately, I think we just had a bit of a frustrating game. You can see all the yellow cards that were getting picked up as well, so yeah, that was a bit disappointing. The players seemed a bit frustrated. It was an odd game for us. You can see, apart from that, yeah, we've been continuing the form, especially, yeah, Freiburg, we win 5-1 away from home, uh, then against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, who are actually a good team. We beat them 4-1. They were actually second. It was a top-of-the-table clash, believe it or not, when we played them. But I'm not sure if I should have said that because we were clearly, like we're still clearly first. We're probably not going to lose. Bayern Munich, they definitely have to win their next game. And this is actually going to be an episode where we do play against Bayern Munich twice. And we might as well play that game in between. So, yeah, a three-game episode. So, if you do go on to enjoy that, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. So, I like it. Or, I know that you guys like it. I always like recording, of course. But, yeah, if you guys like it when I do play three games in an episode. But that's in three days, so we've got to wait until then. But now, it is time to get into the first game, which is the Champions League quarterfinal first leg against Bayern Munich. You can see the other teams that are going to be facing off. And I do want to beat the best teams. If we do beat Bayern, I want to face... Barcelona, or at least PSG next. I want to beat the hardest teams. And Man City, obviously, they have good players. I don't want to get drawn against yeah, PSV or Napoli, hope for that. Maybe Tottenham as well. I want to beat yeah, the best teams. But I've been pretty confident up until now, like yeah, beating the teams already in the Champions League. And I've said maybe we can go all the way. But... Now we're playing against a decent opponent, uh, Bayern. We've had some tight contests against them this season, and we're going to go in with this lineup. Of course, you know Lacazette will be missing, and uh, Rajkovic wouldn't start him anyway, maybe just on the bench. Uh, but yeah, Lacazette, uh, ineligible, but he should be starting in future seasons as well. Uh, Bender, giving him the game time that he wants. Played him a few times uh, this season, but this is the perfect position for him and for our team, I feel. Plays, yeah, very good defensive midfield role for us. But anyway, uh, we shall get into the game. Playing Pizcek also ahead of pass. I think that experience uh, we will need um, in this kind of game, this kind of occasion, Champions League, knockout stages against a huge team as well. Let's go. Okay, first highlight. Let's see if we can do anything from this. They did win it back, but let's see if we can apply good enough pressure. Come on. And also, guys, is it worth me continuing to record in the 3D gameplay? Because I noticed some other people... Okay, we'll see what happens here. They almost score. Would have been an away goal as well. Whew, lucky. But yeah, I noticed... A lot of Football Manager YouTubers just play in 2D and maybe just 3D uh, for the replay of the goal uh, when you score. Uh, let me know, because it does take a bit longer when you uh, record in 3D. Actually, yeah, upload time would be a lot quicker, because I've done that in the past, just doing 2D videos or upload in like 5-10 minutes, <laughs> opposed to an hour or 50 minutes, depending how long the actual video is. But let me know if it's worth uh, doing in 3D, then yeah, no worries. 
But back to the game now. We could score Aubameyang, Dembele. Ooh, he went very, very close. But that could be a thing there. I talked about the young players, but I thought Dembele had an amazing season. He has to play here, but another game, and he maybe would have finished that. Don't forget, he's a young player. But it's good that that's reflected in the game. Like, maybe a young player, a bit of nerves in Champions League against a big team. That's normal. And it's good to, yeah, that's reflected in the game. But anyway, I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance. <laughs> They're fired up now. Come on. Okay, we may need to consider changes. I don't know. Like, things are going okay. Bayern's not dominating us or anything. We've had good possession. We just need to break them down. That's not going to be easy, obviously. Uh, they're a very good team. And then they'll be set up good defensively. Oh, yes, we're going to score. We're going to score. And guess who? Marco Royce. And I did make that decision, like I said, to start uh, with Royce on the left side. And then Dembele would be on the right side. But when I would start Schurler, Royce would be on the right side, if that doesn't sound too confusing. I almost confused myself. But, yeah, he may have not been there if Schurler was starting. But Schurler probably would have finished anyway. It was a good ball. So, we've got a nice lead now. But I'm wondering how it's going to go away from home against them. Like, <laughs> it's going to be hard to actually beat them. Like, I feel we need at least a two-goal lead going into that game and hopefully not conceding an away goal. That is very, very crucial. So, that's on my mind right now, actually. I'm going to consider bringing on Julian Weigel and... I'm going to play him as a deep lane playmaker on defend. So, yeah, we're playing two in the central midfield. But actually, can we undo the last one and then put Castro over to advanced playmaker because he prefers that on support. And then, yeah, Weigel, he can be the deep lane playmaker, but then put on defend just slightly better uh, with that duty. So, I think that's uh, looking all right for now. So we'll confirm the changes. Julian Weigel will go calm and no pressure on you because he's still yeah kind of a young-ish player. How old is he? He's 20? Uh, 21. So yeah, still a uh, fairly young player. Okay, guys, 15 minutes left, but there's a highlight just about to start and I'm considering subbing Guerrero, but yeah, we don't really have a left back even though Parslak is competent at left back. Maybe could play him there. We just got to see what happens it felt like a time. Oh, but see, look, Guerrero. He doesn't look tired. He made an excellent challenge. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, he's doing all right. And let's see if we can finish this. Bender. Ah, that's a bit disappointing. So he's supposed to be playing the defensive midfield role and he's getting forward. That's that's not exactly what I wanted, but it was a good goal-scoring chance. But if it was another player, maybe another center mid or like attacking player... Maybe we could have scored that. Hmm, interesting. Guerrero, see, he's having a fantastic game. I think we just leave him, I guess. If he's playing that well, he just did that on about 60% condition. So we'll just rest him in the next game and play him in the following one. But anyway, Marco Royce. I think we're going to take him off and we'll bring on Schurler. Royce here will be careful. Don't want him to get injured. I say, you could say the same about Guerrero. Don't want him to be injured, but I think he'll be all right. Uh, and then next minute he gets <laughs> injured. But nah, we're going to bring on Sebastian Rota now for Castro. Again, get really defensive. We've got to make sure, like 100%, we do not concede an away goal because right now it's a good advantage for us because then if we score against them in the next leg, we'll be in a very, very good position. So I'm really happy with how this game has played out. We just need to make sure we don't concede a late goal. If we score a second, that will be absolutely fantastic. And we may actually do so. Let's go. Come on, Dembele. Let's see what we can do. Weigel. Rota. Okay, this is good possession. You know, we play this style. Just short passing. Be patient. And it could lead to something for us. Weigel. And here's Piz check. This is very good stuff. Very good stuff. Schurler! Is that going to be a pen? No. Ooh, I thought it was going to be. Because he went down. I'm wondering what this highlight is going to be. Guerrero. Again, patient. Guerrero, can he get across? No, Schurla. Schurla gets past. Schurla gets past. Ooh, that would have been a very, very good substitution to make. But you can see the impact. And I think we deserve another goal. At least a second here. 100%. So, yeah. They're still well in this game at 1-0. 
But yeah, man, I think we deserve at least another. I'm not sure what you think, uh, what you've seen from this game. But yeah, wow. Uh, oh, Weigel. He didn't get uh, strength of the ball. Strength of the ball? <laughs> I don't think that makes sense. But anyway, Piz check. Rhoda, come on. Is this, like, going to lead to something? I'm not sure. I don't want to be where just the highlight ends out of nowhere. Something is actually building up. Guerrero! I think it is anyway or not. Okay. Weigel, is that going to be it? It probably is. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, it looks like the game is going to end like that. There we go. Referee blows for full time. Pizczek had a very good game, so I guess it was the right decision to play him here. I'm going to say it's a good win. 1-0, but there is still one more leg to play. We dominated them. Yeah, wow. Okay, we'll take a look at the match stats to see. Yeah, we had three clicker chances. Well, eight on target, and actually the evidence of from the highlights... I think we deserve at least a second goal, but we just get the one. We keep a clean sheet. No way goals for Bayern. That's really important. And now for the game against Darmstadt, who are doing surprisingly better than I expected, and maybe for you guys as well. As you can see, the media prediction is 18th, and they're in 5th. That That's massive. Oh, I don't care if I win the league. I reckon the manager of Darmstadt, he should get the manager of the year award because yeah that's amazing to be predicted to come last yeah 18 last wow that is amazing and vying for europe even if they just finish in europa league that will be crazy i think yeah if they get into europe either way he deserves the manager of the season award without a doubt i'd sacrifice that award dude that's amazing uh, to do that with the players he would have at his disposal but this is the team we're going to use. I thought, yeah, rotate the team a little bit, but they're in good form. We have to be careful. But, yeah, just balance the team out a little bit, and we shall get into it now. Okay, we have an early corner. Dembele, could we score from this? It's going to be a set play. I'm not sure if it's one we trained for, <laughs> but it's going to work out. It was a weird camera angle. But Goethe scores his third goal of the season. This season, he hasn't played in his most preferred role. He prefers playing attacking midfield, being really creative, but playing central midfield still as an advanced playmaker. He does well, gets in a good position there, maybe takes... Well, it did, not maybe. <laughs> it did take a bit of a deflection. But yeah, I'm just used to hearing that from commentators. And when it does take a deflection on the replay, like maybe takes a bit of a deflection... But it does take a deflection, <laughs> not maybe. So, yeah, I'm just used to hearing that. And it could be a second goal here. So, this is the game that I thought it would have been without realising the position they were in the table. <laughs> like, I thought they would be near the bottom. And, yeah, the game is kind of panning out that way. Oh, my God, another highlight. Can we get three in, like, 12 minutes? It could look like that. Pass lack. Put it in, put it in, and good save from their keeper. But I think, yeah, it was probably a bad decision by them just going really defensive, just sitting back, because that basically concedes possession. They sit back and just boot it forward or something. We're always going to be getting it back and dominating the game, as you can see. You can tell that's the way it's panning out, really, uh, by the possession. And we've got a free kick here. Whew, go very, very close there. Yeah, see, about half time now, and they're not going to have any shots in the first half. So I'm not surprised with the way they set up, though. And um, we'll just say I'm very pleased with the performance. Uh, we just started yeah, straight out of the blocks on fire. And now just the final five minutes. Uh, would be nice to hold on for another clean sheet, and it looks like we are. But again, no surprises that they did not score a goal. Uh, didn't really have any chances for the whole game, to be fair. And it's not a surprise, as I said. It's not a surprise with the way they set up. They try to uh, get a draw, I would imagine anyway. And I would like to think they don't play like that normally. That's not their normal formation because I can't see how they would win games consistently to be in the position they were. So, yeah, surely it was just a, a formation against uh, bigger teams like ourselves and Bayern. Surely. Because, yeah, they had one shot. But now, guys, we will go into the third and final game of the episode. Can we get the better of Bayern in this game too? Hoping we can. If we get a goal, yeah, definitely. 
will be a massive advantage because they failed to get a away goal against us. So I think we are in a good position or they just could be dominant against us here today and then we're gone. You don't know. We need to be at our best, 100%. So this is going to be the team. And as you can say, we've got Memphis because we need like an attacking player on the bench who could probably play striker or another wing position on the left side. But yeah, hopefully that can be good enough for us. And this is going to be, yeah, the starting 11. I'm happy with it. I think we can get the result we need to advance. But once more, I would like to see us have another dominant game. It's going to hard... It's going to be a hard thing to dominate against someone like Bayern. But amazing team, and they've got some other players back, like Alarm for this game. So, yeah, not going to be an easy one. So, we'll go to the team talk. And this time, we're going to say calmly, who there's a lot of options. I'm just going to say, go out there and carry straight on from where you finished last match. Some motivated uh, players and the rest kind of... Just, yeah, taking it in, listening keenly and focused. That's what we want. Come on. Okay, here we go. It is an early highlight. And I would hope it's not going to be us conceding. If we score, we'll be absolutely fantastic. I'll just be disappointed if we concede that early. But it looks like, yes, piss check, <laughs> keep that in. We could have an early chance. Is it going to be a cross? No. We continue with the short passing. And now back to piss check. Okay, Dembele. No, Hummel's too good. Komen. Ooh, it's so tight early. Castro. Okay, we're settling on possession. As soon as I say that, we give it away. It was a terrible error. It could lead to a goal, and it does. Man, I hate that. I hate when we give away the ball, and then they counter and they score. It feels like every time that happens, it is a goal. Like, th that's that's how it feels to me. Like, they make you pay. Every single time when you give away possession, oh, it's it's tough. And yeah, suddenly it's 1-1 one, one on aggregate. We definitely need an away goal now. We need some advantage in this game. Can we get it here from the set piece? We do. Very, very important scoring there uh, with Aubameyang for his 10th of the season. Very important that he is scoring. You know, we cannot play Lacazette in this season, Champions League. But Aubameyang... Oh, it took a deflection as well. There's been a few deflections recently. But that is going to be so important, and it's a highlight right away. Just hope we don't concede. No, come on. Don't do this to us. We just scored a nice goal. <laughs> took a deflection, but it was important for us. Come on. Imagine if we score. That would be crazy. Okay, Hummels. And I think I focus a little bit too much on away goals as well. It's still important just to... Yeah, win. <laughs> Come on. Don't concede. Please. Alaba. No, we just scored. Oh, my God. Both goals pretty frustrating. One, yeah, we gave away the ball, and then we just conceded now, like just after we scored. That's, oh, that's so annoying. Wow. I guess the positive now, we'll have more away goals if we get an equalizer. Okay, they have a corner here. Uh-oh. We need to settle down because, as I said, Bayern, if they just come out and be at their absolute best, where they would just be too good for us. It's Komen. Komen. Oh, man, they're really good right now. They are really good. We need... See, we're not controlling possession like we usually are, even when we do against Bayern. We need to concentrate. Come on. The team's looking motivated. The body language is good. Interesting. But they've got a corner now. Oh my god, the body language is good, but we can't defend a corner. Oh no, Ooh, we definitely need another goal now. We're behind on aggregate. Ooh. Damn. Well, it's definitely not going to be extra time. So yeah, Kagawa, yeah, maybe we are a youngish team. I know we've got some older players, but maybe a bit of inexperience when the pressure is really, really on here. Hmm, man. Maybe if we can score before half time, but if they do, they get another. I'm not sure if there's going to be coming back from that. Oh, yeah, I really can't see it. Because Bayern, they're just on today, unless they don't come out at half time. Like, and they're just not, yeah, playing well. Oh, perfect ball. Muller 
Low cross, bang, goal. They're murdering... I can't even speak. They're, <laughs> they're murdering us right now. Okay. Okay, but wow. Yeah, well, buying at their absolute, just ruthless best. And we haven't been able to cope. So, yeah. This is pretty much over. <laughs> they just came out, scored four... And, well, technically, we're only two goals away from them, but where are those two goals going to come from? That's what I want to know. Okay, I guess we might as well make some changes. Uh, maybe we're going to need, like, a wonder change here. We'll bring on Schurler for Dembele. Uh, we'll switch up the positions, of course. Uh, Goethe to come on for Kagawa, who's had a terrible game. He's made errors today. And, yeah, we're just going to make that change. i got to... Oh, yeah, oh man, I'm just mad with how we play this game out. Like, we've been doing well in large majority of the games. I'll say 99% of the games for the season. We had a few bad results. Say a few, it's like not much. Like, we won so many games this season. We were unbeaten for a long period and even getting decent results against Bayern. But, wow, they were just completely at their best. That's all we can say. We can't, yeah, like right now, we can't do anything. And if we change something, we'll be changing to something that hasn't been as good uh, for us this season. These settings, everything, instructions is what's been able to get it done for us. And it's really not going to make a difference, unfortunately. Weigel. Mo, I can't believe we lost this now. No way. We were in such a good position. But, nah, I don't even know. I'm going to advance playmakers in centre mid, but, like, yeah, because... Wow. Really? I know, you're buying... Like, technically, they have better players. They probably deserve it. Oh, my God. I'm just... That... We were in a good position, but it was all up to buying. They had to come out, like I said, be ruthless like they can be. That's what they needed to do. We were in a good position, but... Yeah, it was just it wasn't enough unfortunately. Bayern at home, they are close to unbeatable, I'd say. And yeah, we just it's just a matter of playing out time unfortunately now. Uh not going to get anything from it, but in a way, I'm like low key ha not low key happy, but not that disappointed about it. Yeah, not that disappointed because if I won like Champions League in the first season and then like obviously going on to win the league as well, it feels like I achieved yeah, what I needed to with Dortmund already. And I'll have the feeling of not wanting to play it anymore. Not not wanting. I feel like I achieved what I wanted and wanting to move on to another team. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll still say not good enough because at least this is what we build on. This is what we build on um, into the next season. So that's the good thing, <laughs> that we didn't win everything in the first season. We have something to focus towards for the next season to improve on. So... That is very, very good for us. But yeah, obviously it's a disappointment after getting a good result against Bayern. But we'll take that and I suppose now uh, we can focus on winning the cup, potentially, and then winning the league, which is a good achievement for us anyway. We're 10 points ahead of Bayern, which means we've been the better team over the course of the season. So yeah, that's a good thing as well. But anyway, I think I'll leave it there for now. Uh, maybe leave some suggestions for me to like plan signings because you know, yeah, we've got the transfer budget now uh, for the following season. Maybe let me know what I should do with the squad. Is it players we should let go of because it's already a big squad players we need to introduce to become the team we need to be. We need those like better players. Like people saying Yaya Toure was unrealistic, but these are the players we need. People say, yeah, develop with youth. Bring the youth f through. But youth is not going to win you Champions League, as realistic as that may be. Yaya Toure is like a experienced player. That's what we need. That's what Bayern have. Like They have the likes of Lewandowski, uh, Philip Lahm, uh, Robin, Ribéry, just to name a few players. That's what wins it for you. So, yeah, we need to uh, focus that way if we're going to yeah beat the best teams in the Champions League. Or, yeah, you'll see a type like Bayern knock us out, unfortunately. But anyway, that is it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.